What's up you guys? All right, so today we are working on some fiberglassing. It is still very much a forest fire type of day. There's smoke in the air. It is hot, it is muggy, it is windy. It is hard to breathe, but we need to get this done. So I try not to be too dramatic about it, but it does actually suck right now. But we have to do what we have to do. So in the last episode, we just covered up these two big holes and got them ready for backing it with fiberglass. And maybe you remember, but I wasn't sure, am I going to keep this one or that one as my electrical input area? And I decided I'm gonna keep this one. So this one needs to go as well. We'll cover this up and then we'll get to some actual fiberglassing. Hopefully I don't mess this up too bad because this is not something that I'm very skilled at. So. I'm gonna do the best that I can. You guys, let me know any kind of tips or tricks. If you see me doing something obviously wrong, please let me know in the comments because I plan on having more of these campers in the future and restoring them because that's what this channel is about. So be easy on me, but also please, if you see something I'm doing wrong, I, I love critiques, so let me know. All right, so let's head to the inside. Okay, so from the inside, this is what it looks like. A little bit of light is coming through. Nice and easy to see that it is flush and really going to be nice and tight, I think, for my fiberglass job. So this is good, I think. And now we have to remove everything that's going on here. I don't want it anymore. This is not going to be the area that power comes in. So let's get rid of this. You can already see this might not be very easy. <laughs> All right, let's just do it. So blessed be those very rusty nails because I was able to just put a large piece of dowling, this whole thing, on the other side and push it through. It worked like a charm. I didn't get it on camera because it happened so quickly. <laughs> All right, it is time to fiberglass the back of these holes. I have YouTubed it. I've looked up how to do it. I've done it once before. I probably am gonna get some stuff a little bit wrong. So not a tutorial, classic Ellie. Also, I'm not even gonna explain what I'm doing because very much not a tutorial. If you guys wanna know how to fiberglass, please look at some of the videos that people that are significantly more qualified than me have made. But hang out with me while I fiberglass. I'm gonna do the best I can. So first thing, I'll, I'll describe things loosely. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make sure that there's no uh, debris or anything like that. And I'm gonna acetone around the edges. And then I'm going to take measurements on the size of these holes, basically just put some of this in front and then trace it and then cut out a few pieces of fiberglass cloth. And then I'm just gonna get to it. So let's do it. might enjoy some fiberglass ASMR. If it's not your thing, that's okay. It has been one hour and I'm curious. When's the right time, Willow? When is the right time? Do I want it to fully set? I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, you guys. Oh, check that out. Interesting. All right, okay.
the floor is screwed in and secure. Now, I don't know if I'm ever going to notice that I do this, but I just sanded it down so that there were no um, chunks sticking up. I'm gonna vacuum it once more, and then I'm going to... It almost sounds silly just to say, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just spray paint the edge because I don't like how it shows up like that. And it's gonna be underneath the bench, but still, I don't want it visible. So I'm gonna clean that up and then we can move on to the next step. So I decided to put the benches back in. I'm not going to install them yet because we're going to be putting some heating equipment and deciding where the battery pack and all of that goes down there. This is the side that the Chinese diesel heater will be installed. For now, I'm just getting them out of the elements because I actually noticed that they were collecting a lot of ash from the sky from nearby forest fires. And <clears throat> just saying that makes it hard to breathe. Anyways. Um, I didn't notice that on any of my other items, but because these have a fresh coat of white paint, it's very obvious. So bringing them in here, just resting them here for now. And it's a good thing too, because I realize I need to paint this part white. It's very obvious. Now that everything's white, that is very obvious. So all good for now. I'm going to seal up the windows with plastic. So. We're going to stop work on the interior and move straight to the exterior. I'm not stepping foot back in here until we are done the exterior, which means I am not going to be in here anymore until the exterior is completely finished. Kind of exciting, but also a little bit daunting. I'm going to wrap up this episode here. And in the next episode, we are going to start working on the exterior again. So to make sure no dust and no paint gets sprayed in here, I am taping it all up and we are not gonna see the inside, probably for at least an episode. I'm really excited about that. I'm also just relieved thinking about being done painting because it is so ugly on the outside and it's such an eyesore and I feel like I'm working on this thing constantly and it doesn't feel like I'm really getting that far because the outside is so ugly. So join me next episode and let's start making this thing pretty from the outside. Catch you guys in the next one.